today I am going to show you how to install Windows on your PC after you have already installed Ubuntu. If you have already got Ubuntu up and running on your machine and you want to add Windows to make a dual boot setup, you are in the right place. This can seem a bit tricky but don't worry, I'll break it down into simple steps. Before we start installing Windows, we need to make some preparations. First, we'll carve out some space or windows from your existing Ubuntu partition. This involves shrinking or resizing the Ubuntu partition. But we can't do this while Ubuntu is running. We'll use a live Ubuntu environment from a bootable USB flash drive to accomplish this. You probably have the Ubuntu USB you used for your Ubuntu installation. So go ahead and insert it. Then restart your computer. Now, access your boot menu by pressing F2, F12 or delete. The exact key varies depending on your computer. Choose the boot from the USB drive. Select try and install Ubuntu. Select the try Ubuntu option. This loads Ubuntu without making any changes to your existing Ubuntu installation. Once you are in the live environment, we'll install the Gparted tool on it. Gparted is a powerful disk partition management tool for Ubuntu. Once Gparted is installed, open it up. Locate the disk where Ubuntu is installed. This is usually formatted as an ext4 file system. Right click on the partition and choose resize or move. Specify how much space you want to allocate to windows. Make sure it's at least 50 GB. Hit the green check mark to confirm. After that, you will see that an unallocated space has been created. Alright, now restart your PC. Eject the live USB and press enter. Boot back into your main Ubuntu system. We'll need a bootable Windows USB drive for the next step. To create this, we'll install a tool called WoUSB. Let's install it via the terminal. Once WoW USB is installed, head over to the official Microsoft website and download the Windows ISO file.
Next, plug in your USB drive and open Wo USB from your application menu. Choose the downloaded Windows ISO file. Select a USB drive under target device. Then click the install button. Be patient while the process completes. This may take some time depending on the ISO file size and the USB drive speed. Once the USB drive is ready, restart your computer and boot from it. Follow the on-screen prompts to start the Windows installation process. When asked where to install Windows, choose the unallocated space we created earlier. Continue following the on-screen instructions to complete the Windows installation. After installing Windows, your PC will start up directly into it. However, Ubuntu is still present on your system. To choose between Ubuntu and Windows at startup, we need to set up a dual boot system. We'll use an EFI boot manager called Refine to achieve this. Download the refined zip file from the SourceForge website. Extract its contents. Next, run this command prompt as administrator and mount the EFI system partition. Once mounted, we'll copy the refined folder into it. So we can't directly access the mounted EFI partition through the file explorer. We'll use task manager to gain access. Follow the steps to open the EFI partition in the task manager. Once you have access, navigate to the EFI folder and paste the refined folder that you copied earlier. Ok, we have successfully copied the refined files to the EFI partition. The next step is to add refine to your system's boot options. We'll use a tool called Easy UEFI for this. First, download the free trial of Easy UEFI from its official website and install it on your Windows system. After installation, launch the Easy EFI application. In the main window, click on Manage EFI Boot Options. 
Then click the Add New Entry button. From the drop down menu, select Linux or other OS. Enter a descriptive name like Refined Boot Manager. Now, select the EFI partition where you copied the refined files. This partition should be around 1 GB in size and formatted in FAT32. Next, browse to the refined directory on your EFI partition. Select the main executable file, typically named refined underscore x64.efi. Once refined is added, move it to the top of your boot order. Finally, close Easy UEFI and restart your PC. You should now see the refined boot menu, allowing you to choose between Ubuntu and Windows. So congratulations, your dual boot setup is complete. Now enjoy the flexibility of switching between both operating systems whenever you start your computer. And that's how you successfully dual boot Windows after installing Ubuntu on your PC.